Hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours truly, Dave, and I want to give a shout out to all my YouTubers out there. I want to talk about a topic called CERN. You may uh, know why I'm talking about this. This place is located in Maryland, Switzerland. That's right, in the Swiss area. Uh, Maryland, Switzerland, go look it on Google Maps. I said it. Uh, Maryland, uh, Switzerland, go check it on a Google Maps. It's there. And it's a, it's a business place. It's called CERN. Um, it's an easy word to learn. They're, uh, they're doing things leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds, everybody. Leaps and bounds. Uh, now, people say, why you heard about this place, sir? Well, I've heard about it for many solid reasons. Uh, for once, once in their life, it's not like uh, NASA. If you heard about NASA, it's not anything to do with NASA. Uh, it's not a space, a space agency. It's not to do with a space agency. Let me, let me give you a brief, uh, brief history, <laughs> if I can, here. Uh, CERN is, you may have heard about the large collider thing. Now that's underground. It's not above ground, it's underground. Uh, CERN is, um, they like to work about the, uh, they, uh, they throw out words like dark matter and, uh, what, there's a few words to talk about, but they want to open portals to the world. Portals. And I'm, t uh, you hear what I'm saying, folks? Portals to the world. Uh, that's what their notion is all about with CERN. Uh, now, the place is located in Maryland, Switzerland. Go look up it in Google Maps. You may have to go on an app to find that out. Uh, just type in Maryland, Switzerland. Uh, there's a place up in there, and it's not in the United States or Canada, in the Canadian provinces. Uh, it's in Maryland, Switzerland. It's in Switzerland. It's very much in Switzerland. Uh, it's far away, and CERN is... The Swiss like to say it in a non-English sense. They say it in a Swedish sense. Uh, so CERN is, they like to talk about dark matter. I, you may not know about the word dark matter. It's a science thing. Um, and they like to talk about atoms. Atoms are uh, things of that nature. Things of that nature, right? So, um, so CERN is basically what they're trying to achieve, if I get this right, they're trying to open portals to the world. Now, whatever you're... Uh, Whatever you're thinking of CERN is, at first, when I first heard about it, this was like a few years back, uh, people were very concerned, not to do with the place itself, but the way they were doing things there. Uh, they were quite concerned. I mean, they were very concerned about what they were doing. Um, it's a dangerous thing to open up the portal to the world. It's like, um, an open portal is basically, I'll give you an example. It's like, um, if you want to find out what's out there up in the world, like way up in the sky, and open portals up there, that's what CERN is basically doing. It's a big collider thing. It's not above ground. It's below ground. Uh, so you can understand what I'm saying, folks. Large collider and atoms, these are like, um, it's like if you went to science class, they'll teach you all this stuff. Um, and CERN, uh, a lot of people have mentioned this place several times. And uh, it's located in Maryland, Switzerland. Type, just look it up on the map. You'll see it there. Um, just type in CERN. It'll tell you where it is. Or, or, or ma matter of fact, go to Wikipedia. Type in CERN. It'll tell you all about the place itself and what it what it's accomplishing there. Um, now, remember, it's not like NASA. NASA is a space agency. They always talk about things space. You know, everything's in space. Rockets, they like to talk about everything to do with rockets. Now, I haven't watched NASA for a very long time because uh, they retired the space shuttle. Yeah, that was pretty sad. That was like around, what would say, 2011. Uh, last mission that NASA did, it was pretty sad. It was, they they went beyond orbit. <laughs> that's, a, that's astounding to anybody, uh, well, imagination. Uh, go north orbit. I mean, nobody wants to do that. That's a scary thought. But yeah, to be an astronaut, you have to go through a rigorous test at NASA. Uh, and uh, I used to watch NASA religiously. I don't watch it very much nowadays like I used to. Uh, but um, I just don't hear very much about the launches very much. Um, I don't want to, if you're asking me if I want to be at NASA, like be an astronaut in my life, I would say, I would say forget it. I'd rather be on uh, on the ground then go up there on a space show. Uh, I'm pretty scared. I'm pretty much scared. After I went on an airplane, I was pretty much scared. Uh, it was, it was, I would just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. I was a scaredy cat. I just didn't like it. But uh, first time going on an airplane, I think, I think that was pretty much it. Uh, so, um, 
I'd rather have my feet on the ground, not going on uh, a space show, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. Um, you know, being living dangerously and going on a space show. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, it's great for an astronaut to do that. You know, I, I applaud these people. I really do. I really do. Not to tease these people, but just applaud them what they're doing in NASA. But I'm not here to talk about NASA, folks. I'm sorry. I'm here to talk about CERN. Now, this place, you might not have heard about it. You may have to write it down. Uh, might have to write on a sheet of paper saying, hey, CERN. Uh, go look it up on the Wikipedia pages. It'll tell you the, the history of CERN. Uh, and it's in Maryland, Switzerland. You can check it out on Google Maps. And uh, it's there. It's there. It's like a business place there. They take tours, if you're going to ask me. They do take tours. Uh, so if you want to familiarize yourself in that place. Uh, but... Uh, but lately, if you uh, heard about this on videos and stuff, uh, all they talk about is things underground. That means it's a big collider thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what that does, but really, to be honest with you, uh, we're so lucky to have uh, YouTube out there to really, really figure out what CERN's all about in theory. Uh, but basically, what I heard a while back is what they're trying to do is accomplish, if they can do this, is open portals to the world, way up in the sky open portals. Now, this could be a silly way of saying this. Why would they do that, right? You people say, why would they do that? Well, um, hey, I don't make this stuff up, folks. <laughs> I mean, these, are, these people are like scientists, you know? They, they, they create this stuff. You don't hear very much about CERN unless you're on YouTube. Um, they'll tell you in great detail what these people do at CERN. Um, and you can take tours if you're if you want to find out more about CERN, uh, go find out on YouTube. Just type in CERN. They'll tell you what it looks like. And um, it's it's in Maryland, Switzerland. I kid you not. Somewhere in Maryland, Switzerland. It's not in the United States. It's not in Canadian provinces. Um, it's in Maryland, Switzerland. So it's in the Switzerland area. Uh, so, so there you go, folks. Um, and what they're trying to accomplish, if I get this right, they're going to open portals around in this world. Uh, uh, they always like to talk about sometimes like dark matter, some words they throw around with. And um, at first, I wasn't very, I was not very keen on what they were saying. Uh, but I was, I was quite interested in what they were saying. I thought, okay, this is uh, has to do with the world. And uh, a lot of people were getting very concerned about the CERN, what they were doing at that place, and it's rightfully so. And um, um, I was reading up these videos and stuff, I was doing the research what CERN was all about. I kind of, you know, went down the rabbit hole with all this stuff. And it didn't sound very creepy. It didn't sound very creepy until I read into it. Um, I was familiar about it, and I told my friend about it. I just, uh, you should uh, think about this place. It's not, like, it's not like NASA. It's not like a space agency uh, that you, you know, you're like an astronaut. You go up in the shuttle and, you know, you see the world above, above Earth, basically. Uh, <laughs> that's not too appealing, if you ask me. Not too appealing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, the whole thing about, uh, uh, you know, rockets need to go beyond Earth. That means a lot of rocket fuel. If you, I kid you not, folks, a ro lot of rocket fuel. I don't know how much they take of these rocket things. Uh, but anyway, they want to take people beyond lower orbit, orbit, if I can say this correctly, lower orbit, and really, really uh, man-made missions kind of thing and see other planets we got other planets above besides earth we got really we have to go further up in the sky to see these things and uh there might be uh, it might look beautiful up there it may look beautiful up there i'm just saying um but you have to take um the one guy that went, really went up there was uh I forget his name he was a canadian guy um he had a book and, uh, yeah, so there you go. We're going to talk about CERN, if you don't mind, guys. We're going to talk about CERN. Maryland, Switzerland. And uh, that's that's the topic I want to run through here. And I'm just, I'm just here for you folks.